right, good morning, good morning. We're here with Jonathan King, uh, one of our Riot team members. And uh, we just want to say, first of all, hello, Riot team, uh, teams. We just want to say good morning to you. Uh, we come in with this other podcast. We're here with Jonathan. We're in Jonathan's secret place, which is his garage where he likes to work out. This is his workout den. Of course, you can see the weights behind us, the curl bar, the bench press, and all that. So Jonathan likes uh, likes to lift the weights, of course. And uh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm sporting his green prosper, uh, his prosper colors, prosper eagles. And uh, Jonathan, just give everybody a little background on who you are and what school you go to and all that good stuff. Well, I'm a freshman in ninth grade. Well, yeah, I'm in ninth grade. I go to Prosper High School. I live in Texas. I currently play football, but our season's over. Our varsity team made it to the playoffs, though. So, that, so we're doing pretty good. I think we might actually be, make it past the fourth round this year. Okay, cool, cool. So, Jonathan, my first question is, how's it been since this is your first year in high school? How's it been for you? It's been pretty cool. It's been pretty tight. I liked it. I liked the new football experience, okay. playing with like friends from like different schools and stuff. Because in middle school, everybody split it up. Okay. Now in high school, it's like one big middle school with like all other middle schools, and it's been pretty cool. I cool. really enjoyed this year. Cool. That's good. My next question is: Is it more challenging being a Christian in middle school or in high school? Because you just transitioned. Is it more challenging being a Christian in uh, high school than it was in middle school? It's definitely more challenging in high school because there's more people and more people that try to influence you to like change how you think. Okay. Because and also there's people older than you in high school when you're a freshman, like way older and stuff. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That is that can be like more influence when someone is older than you. The pressure. It's not even that they say anything. Just the pressure of their of the aura. You know, the seniors' aura, the way they walk around, the, their swag is yeah. a little bit different. So it can be a lot more tedious pressure. Pressure like so that is absolutely true. That's yeah. true. So uh, my next thing, Jonathan, is is there a scripture that you like to read like every day or just during the week? Is there a scripture that comes in mind that you like to meditate on during the week or whatever? Yeah, my favorite scripture is Luke chapter one, verse thirty seven. It says, With God nothing is impossible. And I wear it on my wrist. That's what my bracelet says. Swag. I like that. I like I, that. Yeah, I never take it off too. Okay, yeah. I like that, man. That loop, that's real powerful. With God, remember that, teenagers, as you're looking at our podcast, remember with God, nothing is, is impossible. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Things are possible with man, but there, nothing is impossible with God. So that means that the God that created you, there's nothing impossible. So whatever you put your mind and your heart to, you can accomplish. Mm -hmm. Good. That's good. That's a good, good answer, Jonathan. My next question is this. As an athlete training, it's so important that... It's so important. So important. Do you find it challenging, or does training come easy for you? Because sometimes training is a little harder for us, of course, being older. But for you, is training easy? I mean, I'm here in your garage. You got the workout stuff. Is it easier for you to work out, or is it challenging for you to work out? I feel like it's in the middle because, like, you have to keep on grinding, and like, if you want to hit like a new PR in okay. the weight room, that that would be kind of challenging because you have to keep on grinding. Cool. So, but if you're doing like easy light weights, it might be easy. But if you're like working yourself off, like getting a pump and stuff, that would be kind of challenging. You know, okay, working out is something that it can be hard, but the benefits is your body look good, you feel good, mm -hmm. you feel more, uh, you have more endurance. Like as you're playing sports or whatnot, you have more endurance. And so working out is a challenge, but for you it's easy. That's good, bro. Mm -hmm. That's really, really good. That's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. Yeah. So as we end this podcast, as we end the podcast, is there anything that you would like to leave for other teenagers to grasp or to, to get a hold of? Mm -hmm. The teens that are part of the Riot Ministry, is there anything you want to leave with them today? Yeah, just keep on grinding. And like, if you want to do something, you have to pursue that because you don't want to have any regrets. You don't want to live with regrets. Good. That's good, Jonathan. That's really good. And so the scripture that I would like to leave for you guys today is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, that... And that scripture is that thanks be unto God that always causes us to triumph in Christ. That's one of my favorite scriptures is thanks be unto God that always gives us the victory, always causes us to triumph. And Jonathan, before we leave you guys, my last question I'm going to throw in there to Jonathan. Has anyone ever told you that you look like your granddad, Pastor Johnny? Yeah, I love that. They have? Yeah. Okay, good. I just wanted to, just wanted to throw that out there. Have anyone ever told me that you look like your granddad? Absolutely. The dimple and the, the t everything, bro. Everything. So anyway... Thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for inviting us into your workout. So, guys, 
This is Jonathan workout then. This is where he works out. This is where he works out every day. And uh, he's getting it. So we'll see the results here coming up. So but anyway, thank you, Riot Teams. I want you guys to be encouraged. And as we leave you, we'll always leave you with prayer. So Jonathan, I'm going to close it out with prayer, okay? So Lord, we just pray for those teens that are watching, Father. And we thank you, Lord, for strengthening each and every teen that's watching, Lord. We ask you that you would strengthen their minds, strengthen their hearts, and strengthen their will, Father, uh, to do the right thing, Father, even when it's hard, Lord. We ask you to strengthen them by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we give you praise and glory for each team that is out there, Father. And we even pray for their families. We pray for their mothers and their dads, that their mothers and dads, that you continue to give them wisdom and give them knowledge, Father, how to work and help their teenagers during this time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.